This 1971 home had undergone a few minor updates, but the new homeowners wanted to open everything up and make it more functional for the entertaining that they do regularly. In the kitchen, multiple walls were removed, and the peninsula replaced with an 8-foot island. New quartz-topped North Point cabinets were installed, with numerous customized organizers including spice racks, dish organizers, lazy Susans, and trash can pullouts included for added functionality. A glass backsplash was added to give a more finished look and a pop of color. A pot filler was installed above the stove for all the Italian cooking that the homeowner likes to do. The old laminate floor was replaced with hardwoods throughout the home. The formal dining room was closed off from the formal living room and turned into a new laundry room and pantry. The homeowners didn't want a cased opening to break up the design in the kitchen, so cabinet doors were used to create a secret bat cave-like access to the laundry and pantry. This solution ensured that the kitchen design was cohesive and beautiful while also still being practical. This kitchen had not been updated since 1986, and it was time for a complete overhaul. The basic footprint was kept, but the refrigerator was moved down a couple of feet to add more counter space and storage. The cabinets were run all the way to the ceiling and finished in a soft white to brighten up the space. Gray veined quartz was installed on the countertops. The new marble backsplash is an ode to the old wallpaper pattern, which the client still loved giving her the ability to keep the pattern without compromising on style. The old electric range was swapped out for a new gas range with a stylish hood vent. Two water glass doors appear above the sink for an open feel. Recessed LED wafer lights, under cabinet lighting, and two island pendants were added. The flooring was changed throughout the space to a wide plank revwood in an oak pattern and coloration. The revamped kitchen has breathed new life into this home. The owners of this home were a young couple that wanted a functional and unique kitchen that reflected their own style and taste, while incorporating lighter materials and the colors of nature into their home. The showstopper for this kitchen is the marble countertops with sea green and warm vanilla veining throughout. A soft green was selected for the cabinets to complement the marble and connect with the home's natural surroundings. The peninsula countertop was extended to allow for casual dining. Perlescent cream handmade tiles were laid on the backsplash and reflect natural light. The refrigerator was relocated closer to the cooking and prep areas for convenience. Storage was maximized around the perimeter, with customized cabinets and pull-out accessories incorporated to make use of all available space. Glass front cabinets were added to display the homeowner's collected dishes and treasures. Although they loved their neighborhood, their closed-off kitchen was not suitable for this active and growing family. The wall separating the kitchen and living room was removed and the kitchen redesigned with an island connecting the two rooms. Old Chicago brick pavers were laid throughout the space. Custom cabinets were installed in a creamy white for contrast with the floor and to provide an abundance of storage options. New stainless appliances were installed, and a striking vent hood was hung above the range. A breakfast nook area was created so the family can enjoy casual meals together. Brass hardware and new lighting, including pendants and under cabinet lighting, complete the design. Having recently purchased this mid-century modern home, the homeowners wanted to restore it back to its former glory while preserving the simplicity and modern aesthetic that it once had. The kitchen, which had undergone multiple renovations over the past 70 years, was gutted to the studs and the plumbing, electrical and HVAC systems overhauled to function better in the new design. All of the flooring and tile was removed, and a self-leveling epoxy used to recreate a polished concrete floor. Custom oak cabinetry and flat panel full overlay doors were installed. A custom white oak tambora vent hood was built as a statement piece for the kitchen. Quartzite countertops were installed with full-height backsplashes and a waterfall edge. Custom pull-outs and hideaway doors were designed to keep the working parts of the kitchen hidden and countertops uncluttered. 
Unlacquered brass plumbing fixtures were installed, along with an oversized range. The simple lines and symmetry of the materials used created a new modern kitchen that still retains the mid-century modern look. This young family is the host family on the block, but their existing kitchen, with its outdated finishes and cramped spaces, made it hard to enjoy time with family and friends. The wall at the front of the home was extended and the front door relocated to create the new kitchen. Brick pavers installed in a herringbone pattern in the foyer lead through the arched opening to the new spacious hub of the home. Full overlay base cabinetry was installed with a flush inset pantry wall. Black painted cabinets provide contrast to the white quartz countertops and bronze plumbing and cabinet hardware. A custom-paneled refrigerator and dishwasher, black gas range, and ceiling-mounted vent hood were installed. White oak floating shelves with under-cabinet lighting, a handmade backsplash tile, and brass light fixtures add detail. For entertaining, a dry bar area was created with custom cabinetry, wine storage, under-cabinet lighting, and a detailed backsplash. The kitchen boasts two new pantries, one behind an old family door with custom stained glass detail that houses small appliances, and the second with custom doors and brass hardware with functional shelving. At the front of the house is one of the homeowner's most anticipated spots, a banquet seating area with custom iron windows that has become the space where the family now gathers for homework, nightly dinners, and birthday celebrations. Building an addition onto this dark, cramped kitchen created a blank slate to design exactly what the homeowners wanted. The new space features custom-painted cabinets with built-in appliances, including a pellet ice maker and a dual fuel range. Custom commercial-grade windows were installed, opening the entire room to the outside. A large island was added with a bridged faucet and seating for eight. A quartzite countertop with waterfall edge gives the space a modern look while the old Chicago brick backsplash helps the new design blend with the rest of the house. A walk-in pantry with matching cabinets and countertops provides a place for additional storage as well as an area for countertop appliances to be kept out and easily used. The final touch was a custom dual-fuel pizza oven that is sure to provide fun and delicious cooking experiences for years to come. Although the homeowners loved their location, their kitchen and small sunroom were not meeting their needs. The wall between the kitchen and living room was opened up and the kitchen layout completely changed to accommodate a larger island, 42-inch built-in refrigerator, paneled dishwasher, microwave oven combo, and gas range top. The existing patio door and window were exchanged for a new window hung above the added second sink. Brushed brass poles and fixtures complement the warm finishes, with sconces flanking the window cabinets. The cabinets were painted a soft sage green that acts as a neutral in harmony with the honed quartzite countertops and a dramatic backsplash behind the range top. The island includes touches such as a built-in paper towel holder to eliminate clutter. Since the homeowner is a restauranter and bar owner, the sunroom was turned into a new bar area with ice maker, refrigerator and pull-out wine storage cabinet. The jewel of the bar is the brass and glass shelving displaying the owner's extensive bourbon collection. A leaded glass china cabinet was installed to display dishes and barware between the bar and the kitchen. These empty nesters were ready to create a space in their unfinished basement that would allow them to spend time together while enjoying a bottle of wine, sipping bourbon, or entertaining friends at the pool. Custom wall paneling accompanied by an iron and cable railing now lead to the new basement kitchen which features a 13-foot island. A built-in refrigerator, microwave drawer, undermount sink, and ample storage allow the owners to prep and entertain without leaving the party. A widened header was installed to support three-panel sliding doors, allowing them to bring the outdoors in on sunny days. Steel columns and framing provide a look into the entertainment area, 
with custom wall detailing and modern picture lighting. A tray ceiling conceals the room's HVAC system. A custom-built wall and door system provides a modern touch while insulating the wine cellar to maintain temperature and humidity. A custom wine racking system in an ash gray finish was built to wrap the soffit housing the air supply dedicated to the cellar. A full bathroom was added to accommodate overnight guests, with a custom vanity in linen cabinets, leather granite, matte black fixtures, and a modern, linear floor tile softened by a pillow edge shower tile. These homeowners were ready to reclaim their basement space to welcome friends and family on game day. Engineered flooring was installed throughout for a warm feel from the bottom up. Painted white walls and sprayed black open ceilings create a backdrop for the family's sports memorabilia that has been collected over the years. Wall niches were framed to display various possessions, which are highlighted by the cable track lighting system. The prized jewel of the basement is the custom-built bar area, which features wrought iron shelving, custom cabinetry, and an antique mirrored backsplash. Two beverage refrigerators, bar sink, and microwave drawer make it the perfect place to serve up snacks. A dedicated space was created for overnight guests. The new bathroom boasts details such as glass subway shower wall tile, black plumbing fixtures, and wrought iron shelving brackets. Between the relaxing sofa room, the four TVs on display, and spotlights on the family's collectibles, this has become a sports enthusiast's dream entertaining space. This 70s ranch house was in desperate need of some curb appeal. The existing garage was converted into a new living room with a wood-burning fireplace. A new brick veneer with a parapet wall was installed around the new fireplace. A knee wall was added that tied into the front entry. A new gas lantern was installed over the porch and became the focal point of the front of the house. Board and batten accents were installed. New paint and windows helped tie the project together, creating a home that is now a showstopper instead of a passerby house. Sitting on the main channel of a lake, this waterfront home's exterior was weathered and overdue for an update. A timber-framed porch was built with Alabama-sourced white oak and exotic decking. The rafters, joists, posts, brackets and beams were all crafted from white oak, which was coated with a special waterproofing material to prevent moisture absorption. The double girder beam design involved the cutting and placement of 22-foot long rafters. The roof decking was made of 2x6 tongue and groove yellow pine that was stained to match the white oak. IPE hardwood decking, imported from Brazil, was installed. That same hardwood was used to create a handrail with an integrated LED light channel on the underside of the railing. LED lighting was also installed on the girder beams to provide indirect lighting on the main deck. Stainless steel cable railings were installed through the timbers and posts to keep the lake view as unobstructed as possible. Below the deck, a large bluestone patio was installed, with a 12-foot sliding door opening up to the home's basement level. A fresh coat of paint completed the project. This 1957 lake cottage had gone through many additions and alterations in its lifetime leaving it with a disjoined roof system. To create a dream oasis retreat for their clients, the remodeler removed the entire roof system and started from scratch. The pitch on the main section of the home was raised and extended to flow over a new 16 by 30 foot deck, which was added to take advantage of the beautiful lake views. The existing shed roof at the home's entrance was replaced with a gabled roof. All of the soffit, siding and fascia were replaced with a cement board product. The new deck features a powder-coated hogwire to keep visitors safe while allowing for unhindered views. The cottage exterior was painted in Sherwin-Williams's urbane bronze, with a complementing stain used on the ceilings of the deck and front entry to complete this home's enhancement.
After living in their home for four years, these homeowners were finally ready to pull the trigger on an addition. The rear of the house was extended to add another two-car garage with oversized doors to accommodate the owner's larger vehicles. Hardy plank siding and a standing sea metal roof were installed on the exterior. The bonus room above the garage was enlarged into a spacious game room, which was wired for surround sound in the theater area. A half bath and kitchenette were added to the bonus room, and super sturdy garage flooring was installed to make the floor virtually indestructible. Downstairs, the addition was modified to include a custom kitchen featuring commercial grade windows and a built in pizza oven. The patio was expanded to help finish out the addition. With a new baby on the way, the need for more space was more pressing than ever for these homeowners. The remodeler partnered with an architect to create a second story for their home, giving them more space without being displaced. The addition features a large media room and playroom, with several built-in desks to provide study zones for their growing family. The room includes a game closet and a wallpapered feature wall. A large Jack and Jill bathroom between the two boys' bedrooms features navy blue well-borne cabinetry and honed white quartz counters with gray veining. The shower includes handmade subway tile in various shades of white and Kohler purist shower fixtures. The floor tile is laid in a complementary mosaic hexagon pattern. The girls' bath includes a picket mosaic shower tile with white Schluter trim. The mint green wellborn vanity with modern knobs and the white wall sconces provide a playful aesthetic. Recessed lighting and large windows in the bedrooms and media room provide plentiful natural and ambient light. A couple with three active children needed a space of their own where they could relax and give their children the space they need. To create this addition, a small existing closet was removed and a new wall was framed in to provide a direct access hallway into the owner's retreat. Teal abstract textured wallpaper was installed in their bedroom, which features custom built-ins and a paneled wall. In the adjoining bath, a marble mosaic border with inlay was installed on the floor. The Halcyon Green custom detailed vanity has a marble countertop, and the Valance toe kick and gentle marble splash give it a true cabinet feel. Marble tile was installed in the shower, with detailed mosaics on the floor and accent panel. A niche was installed in the shower and bathing area for optimal storage. A custom closet system was designed with plenty of his and her storage features, from shoe storage to charging stations. French doors lead from the bedroom to a small sitting area that's perfect for enjoying morning coffee or evening conversation. Steps lead down to a stamped concrete patio that's made for entertaining or grilling for the family. Built in 1980, this custom architectural salvage-built cottage was full of whimsy and delight but its primary bathroom was in dire need of an update. The existing cultured marble tub, terracotta tile floors, fiberglass shower unit, mirror glass, vanity top and light fixture were demoed. The partition wall between the tub and shower was removed, and a knee wall and shower bench framed in its place. The shower walls were tiled in 3x6 beveled subway tiles, with mosaic marble penny tile on the shower floor. A new soaker tub was installed with a custom deck-mounted tub filler and custom wainscoting surround. The existing custom cypress vanity cabinet was modified for a furniture-grade look, painted, and topped with quartz. Sintesi light silver metal art 12x24 tiles were laid on the floor. Satin brass cabinet hardware and wall-mounted vanity lights were installed to complement the champagne bronze plumbing fixtures. Reclaimed wood shelving and antique pine doors on the linen closet provide the finishing touch. The homeowners wanted to brighten up their guest bathroom and make it more inviting. This dated bath was demoed down to the studs and the bulkhead above the existing shower was removed. The fiberglass shower unit was replaced with a walk-in shower with an oversized, wavy subway tile to add some dimension. 
The various blues in the shower mosaic provide a focal point and complement the navy blue vanity. A chrome faucet adorns the new quartz countertop. Accompanying hardware, lighting, and an elegantly styled mirror tie the transformation together. For this project, an existing dining room was converted into a new primary bath and closet on the main level. The new bath features a custom tile shower with dual shower heads and oversized 24 by 48 tiles on the shower floor and walls. The shower also features a built-in bench and storage niche. A custom reeded vanity with quartz tops was installed. Custom lighting and arched mirrors help bring the space together. The room also features an enclosed commode area and a large walk-in closet. Custom Ari events help keep the modern look of the floor. Creating an owner's suite on the first floor has made the home more accessible for the owners for years to come. This homeowner was in desperate need of an updated bathroom that fit her style. The bathroom originally had two wooden vanities and a corner tub that were not only dated but took up a lot of space. One of the vanities was removed and the toilet relocated to accommodate a larger shower. The new walk-in shower features a glass door, a bench topped in leathered black granite, and ornate tilework with numerous shelves for storage. A handheld shower head on an adjustable arm, two stationary shower heads, and a Kingston brass rain head above give the shower a spa-like feel. Honed black basalt was used on the shower floor, while 24x24 24 24 Rialto Grand Paracline tile was used on the shower walls and bathroom floor. The shower floor and bench seat have warmly yours heat elements that continue through the rest of the bathroom floor, ensuring that the homeowner stays toasty warm. A 72-inch claw foot tub with a black skirt and brass feet and fixtures was placed in the same location as the original tub and gives the room the wow factor that the homeowner wanted. A black Timberlake double vanity was added, with Nefertiti quartz countertops and brass fixtures to complete this luxurious space. This project proves that you can completely transform a room without having to change the footprint. The dated wallpaper was removed, and the walls refinished with smooth sheetrock for a crisp white palette that makes the room seem much more open and airy. New floor tile was laid in a herringbone pattern. A custom-made pocket door was installed to replace the existing standard hinge door. The cramped shower was replaced with a large frameless glass walk-in shower with three shower head options. A luxurious freestanding tub was installed. The existing vanity was replaced with all new custom cabinets. A linen closet with glass doors was added as a convenient storage option. The closet also got a much-needed upgrade, with all new cabinets installed for a his and hers custom-built closet system to complete this project. This bathroom went from dark and gloomy to light and bright. To brighten up the space, the existing custom vanity was painted, and the countertops replaced with white quartz. The dark steam shower was transformed into an inviting space with marble-like porcelain tile, ceiling and wall mount rain heads, an adjustable slide bar hand wand, and a new frameless glass system that allows in natural light. The oversized jetted tub was replaced with a large undermount soaking tub, capped off with the same quartz as the vanity. A slate-looking porcelain tile was installed on the floor to balance out the space. Polished nickel sconces, tilt mirrors, and faucets finish off the transformation of this spa-like retreat. With a growing family, the need for an updated primary suite was more pressing than ever. The dark, 1956 bathroom was completely demoed along with a nearby office nook to incorporate more square footage into the new bath. The original shower-bathtub combo was replaced with a new zero-threshold shower featuring a dramatic subway tile in a grid pattern. A separate tub was installed and wrapped in the same tile, with a contemporary chandelier hung above. 
A local craftsman made the walnut floating vanities, as well as a linen cabinet and two vestibule built-ins at the closet entry. White quartz with gray veining tops the vanities, which feature Carillon wading pool vessel sinks. Smart features were incorporated into the design, including a wall-mounted towel warmer and mirrors with built-in LEDs and a defogger feature. A small bedroom was turned into the new primary suite closet, featuring custom organizations such as an island with shoe cubbies, a wall full of drawers, and double the hanging space of the original closet. Creating a beautifully updated primary bathroom while planning for the future and making the space more accessible was the order of the day for this remodel project. A new walk-in shower was constructed, with a Schluter sloped shower tray installed to provide barrier-free shower access and adequate drainage. Adding a luxurious touch is the new Jason Hydrotherapy Micro Silk Bathtub with a custom tub surround. The bathroom's high ceilings created a challenge with limited working attic space to accommodate the installation of a skylight, but great planning and effort paid off. Custom cabinets were designed and installed along with a private toilet area. A new vanity area was created with a striking herringbone tile backsplash. The new space provides the feel of a personal spa while also addressing accessibility needs that may arise. These empty nesters wanted to replace their dark, dreary and dated primary bathroom with more of an open concept space with plenty of amenities. Heated flooring was installed with large format floor tile with dramatic veining that sets the stage for the slate painted cabinetry. Custom pullouts with electrical outlets in the vanity make it easy to get ready and to clean up. Quartz countertops complement the expansive shower wall tile, which is highlighted by a calicata marble and gold accent panel. Brushed brass plumbing and light fixtures, accompanied by lucite and brass cabinet hardware, add a decadent finishing touch. An adjacent bedroom was enclosed from the hallway and a new opening added off the bathroom to create a second primary suite closet. The original closet was partially removed to make room for a new laundry area. Quartz countertops adorn the custom folding station for a complete space to get ready from start to finish. This 100-year-old house, located in an historic downtown area, had been purchased by the homeowners as a rental property. After a couple of years of renting it out, the couple decided its charm and convenient location was the perfect answer to downsizing and that the time was right to renovate it for themselves. The interior was redesigned with a more open concept, while maintaining the charm of the tongue and groove ceiling and time period fixtures. The cased openings between the foyer, den and kitchen were widened to create a more open feel. The existing tongue and groove was removed and reused on the interior walls. Gas logs were installed in the den. The kitchen was updated with all new custom milled cabinets and appliances, and the sink was relocated from the wall to the new island. A doorway was cut in to give access from the kitchen to a new half bath that was added near the laundry room. A new exterior window was installed in the half bath. The existing bathrooms were updated as well. New flooring was installed throughout, and the entire interior was painted, completing this beautifully renovated home with a modern twist. Originally constructed around 1895, this building had served many purposes over the years, most recently a family vacuum store. After sitting vacant for four years, it had extensive structural damage that made most of the building unsafe. After the first goal of creating a safe structure was accomplished, efforts focused on recreating the historic character of the building while creating storefronts on the first floor with residential units upstairs. The old growth floor joists were repurposed into stair treads leading to the new residential lofts on the second floor, instantly bringing history back to the interior. Beginning in the stairway and doorways leading to the lofts, trim work was designed to bring character back to the space. Inside the lofts, the original brick walls and ceiling joists and rafters were left exposed to show off the age of the building. Both kitchens received custom cabinetry, new appliances and granite countertops. 
Interior finishes focused on creating a high-end look with tile showers, natural wood vanities with granite countertops and transoms over the doors. One challenge during construction was creating a space for a laundry room. This was overcome by putting a stackable washer-dryer unit behind cabinets with appliance pocket doors so that the space was both functional and attractive. Custom closet systems were installed using built-in cabinetry for efficient storage. Wainscoting and ceiling medallions were installed to complete the historic design and achieve the goal of maintaining the building's character. Outside, the exterior brick was given a fresh coat of paint, new windows and doors installed, and the historic iron posts sandblasted to reveal original details, then repainted to coordinate with the rest of the exterior. This project not only preserved the history of the building, but it has also played a significant role in the revitalization of the surrounding district. These homeowners wanted to improve the quality and curb appeal of their historic home, which had been built circa 1900. Care was taken to choose remodeling materials that complied with the historic district guidelines. A previous remodel had installed vinyl siding that had passed its glory days and did not fit in the historic regulations. The soffits and cornices were replaced, and hardy board material was used to match and replace the existing siding. Much of the existing porch flooring, columns, finials, rails and brackets were far too deteriorated to reuse, so measurements were carefully taken and replacement fixtures custom made and installed. A new side porch was constructed to match the existing front and back porches. Weather-resistant KDAT lumber was used for the porch flooring, which was sanded and specially primed for superior floor paint adhesion. Paint selections were made to comply with the historic district guidelines. This beautiful example of a Victorian-style home is now a standout in this historic district. This couple wanted to move her mother from a nursing home into their own home by converting their basement into a comfortable, independent living area. An open living area was created with a small foyer space, seating area, TV and library area, dining area, and kitchenette. The kitchenette includes a dishwasher, appliance garage and pantry closet. French doors were installed to provide plenty of light and views of the garden and wooded scenery out back. Lots of natural light also pours into her new bedroom. Each doorway was widened to 36 inches for walker or wheelchair access, and grab bars were added to the newly relocated bathroom. A low threshold on the shower makes getting clean easier than ever, and details such as an onyx pattern tile, oak-colored LVP, and soapstone countertops means that aging gracefully doesn't have to look like a hospital. The charm of her old home has moved in through artwork and antique furniture which warms up the space and makes her feel right at home. A child with special needs had defied the odds and made it to adolescence, which brought new challenges to the family as they helped him with his everyday routine. The formerly cramped bathroom was redesigned to maximize space and make bathroom time much easier. The small tub that was a tripping hazard was removed and replaced with an oversized zero-threshold shower. The shower extends into the commode area, and a wall-mounted commode was installed with a full-tile surround. A separate shower wand and drain were installed near the commode so the walls and floor could easily be sprayed down. Grab bars and a second shower wand were installed in the shower. A new vanity provides space for other family members to use, and a closet from an adjacent bedroom was flipped around to create additional storage. A bath routine that previously took close to an hour to accomplish can now be done in under 20 minutes, thanks to this new design. The homeowners of this dated 1970s bathroom desired a better floor plan and functionality to create a bathroom suitable for aging in place. The wall between the tub and the vanity was removed and square footage incorporated from the original hallway to construct a bathroom large enough for wheelchair accessibility. All doorways were widened and flooring transitions kept to a minimum to reduce trip hazards. 
The tiny shower was replaced with a large zero-threshold walk-in shower with an ADA-accessible wide glass shower door. A bench and grab bars were installed to help with accessibility as the client ages. The shower also features a Kohler Hydro Rail Column Kit system with attached handheld on a slide bar to easily adjust the height and angle of the shower head. All new cabinetry in soft gray with white Calicata Marajo quartz countertops was installed, including a linen tower with pull-out laundry hampers and roll-out shelving. Nickel accents coordinate with the cabinet hardware and wall sconces. A new closet system was designed with rows of adjustable shelves, custom organization, drawers and double the linear footage of hanging space. This new space gives the homeowners the freedom to maintain their independence for years to come. A hidden nook behind a wall in this 1940s home was turned into a wet bar like no other. Cabinets topped with Taj Mahal quartzite were installed and outfitted with a copper sink, champagne bronze bar faucet, and roll-out liquor storage. A panel-ready Sub-Zero wine fridge with built-in ice maker was added. Floating shelves with a dark wood stain were selected to hold glassware. Located around the corner in the home's living area, this touch of elegance is a hidden gem. The original primary bathroom had a terrible flow, making it constricted and awkward. The solution was to convert an adjacent bedroom being used as an office into the homeowner's ensuite of their dreams. The original window was retained and a large soaking tub placed below. A spacious walk-in shower was designed with a ceiling mount rain head, wall mount shower head, solid surface curb and knee wall cap, frameless shower glass system, and tile work with a Schluter waterproofing system. A custom-built vanity was installed with plenty of storage and topped with Carrara Lumos quartz. A new water closet flanks the other side of the tub, with a custom cabinet above the toilet for added storage. A once unused space has now become the ensuite the clients have always wanted and needed. This historic district home had been condemned by the city and sat unoccupied for over two years after a large tree took out the rear of the house. The remodeler maintained as much of the home's historic features as possible and sought to rebuild from the foundation up. The challenge increased when another tree fell on the front of the home after a storm during the re-roofing phase, but the project pressed on. Originally a duplex, the home was converted into a three-bed, three-bath single-family home. Locally milled German lap siding was installed on the exterior to match the original that was found underneath the old aluminum siding. Inside, new floor joists were installed as needed and new interior walls were constructed. Pella wood windows were installed to bring in plenty of light. Wood floors, framing, and countertops add a rustic touch in the kitchen, where some of the home's original German lap siding was used on the face of the peninsula. The primary bath features a custom-built vanity and a large walk-in shower with dual rain heads. A small deck and seating area off the back of the house complete the space. This 1990s home got a new life with its renovation, starting with a complete tear-out and reconfiguration of the kitchen. A wall that separated the kitchen and dining room was removed and the main kitchen cabinets anchored on the remaining walls. A central island was added and new stainless GE Cafe appliances installed, along with a brick look backsplash. An LVL beam was installed and encased in reclaimed wood from an old sawmill. The wood was also used on the fireplace in the adjacent living room to tie the spaces together. New flooring was installed to create a cohesive look throughout the kitchen, dining and living spaces, as well as in the primary bedroom. The powder room received an upgrade with a vertical shiplap treatment and new pedestal sink, fixtures and lighting. The tired carpet and wooden spindles on the staircase were replaced with hardwood steps and iron balusters. The existing primary bath was dark with an awkward layout. The entire shower wall was tiled with a marble-look porcelain tile, 
The shower was enlarged, and a new soaker tub installed next to it. Large format tiles on the floor make the space seem larger, and the use of warm wood with pewter accents on the vanity softens any harsh edges. Although this home captured its homeowner's attention the moment she saw it, she also recognized that it wasn't living up to its full potential, with its dated look, many doors, and dark, closed-off hallways. The remodeler removed some doors and added archways to remaining ones, adding character that the home previously lacked. A wide, long hallway was created to connect the kitchen to the family room and on toward the children's rooms. The kitchen was gutted, and the fur downs were removed to extend cabinets all the way to the ceiling. Extra space was utilized to create a cozy breakfast nook and bar area. A mudroom was added for extra storage. The outdated den and family room at the rear of the house each got updated looks with fresh paint and new lighting fixtures. A long haul off the kitchen that previously housed an additional dining area and kitchenette now leads to a new home office and powder room. The existing guest room was converted into a master closet with custom cabinetry. This 1930s home got a complete transformation, beginning with a fresh white paint job on the exterior to add curb appeal. A large bay window with copper awning was added to the front elevation to bring more natural light into the client's art studio. Inside, the staircase was moved from the center of the home to the side of the open concept foyer kitchen and dining space. The kitchen is anchored by a large center island with plenty of prep and serving space. An abundance of cabinets provide plentiful storage. Above the gourmet range is a pot filler and open shelving. An 800-foot addition was built at the rear of the home for a new living area with French doors leading to the backyard, and a spacious new owner's suite. The new owner's bath showcases elegant marble-topped dual vanities and a luxurious soaker tub. A dormer was added to the second story to create additional usable square footage for two kids' bedrooms and a large hall bathroom which is covered in whimsical gingham print wallpaper and features a teal vanity cabinet for added color. Located in a desirable neighborhood overlooking a golf course, this 2004 home needed a complete makeover inside and out. The home's curb appeal was completely transformed with the removal of a window, the installation of a mahogany front door, and a fresh paint job. An eyebrow roof was added to the garage. Inside, new interior doors and white oak hardwood floors were installed throughout the main level. The original sheet rock stairwall was replaced with a staircase with custom welded handrail to make the space more open and inviting. The existing fireplace was removed and replaced with one of two sets of French doors that now lead to the back porch. In the kitchen, custom cabinetry was installed to the ceiling and lines the walls, adding much needed storage. Other kitchen highlights include leathered river black granite countertops, glass cabinet uppers flanking the built-in pantry, subway tile backsplash, a five-burner gas cooktop, and French door stainless steel refrigerator. In the owner's bedroom, new oak flooring was installed and the existing windows were replaced by French doors leading to the porch. The adjoining bath now houses his and hers custom stained vanities with Montauk quartz countertops and a walk-in shower. The rear porch features a stone fireplace with solid cedar mantle, tongue and groove wood ceiling and black powder-coated hog wire handrails for unobstructed views. With areas for lounging, dining and outdoor grilling, this true outdoor living space completes this total home renovation. The goal for this project was to modernize this outdated 1940s home with all the amenities and style that would create a cozy home while incorporating the Frank Lloyd Wright design style that the homeowners liked. On the exterior, a triple window with obscure glass replaced two old windows to allow more light in while giving privacy. A front porch was added with a slate floor and tongue and groove ceiling. An addition to the front of the house with space stolen from an oversized laundry room was used to create a foyer with oversized wood and glass entry doors. A wall separating the kitchen from the living room was removed, and a load-bearing column was wrapped in walnut and a modern partition slat wall created. A new island was added, 
and the existing peninsula covered with leathered Taj Mahal quartzite with a waterfall edge. The same quartzite is used on the backsplash. Grasscloth wallpaper on the kitchen and dining room wall creates textured drama against the neutral cabinetry. In the living room, custom bookcases replace the old doors on either side of the new modern fireplace, which consists of 24 by 48 inch porcelain tiles installed vertically to mimic large stone slabs. Tucked away from the main living area, the new wet bar features a sub-zero wine fridge, copper sink, and modular liquor storage. The laundry was reconfigured for more efficiency, with dark blue cabinetry, a thin brick floor in a herringbone pattern, and a modern wallpaper. The owner's bath was completely updated with an onyx pattern tile, wooden cabinetry, a new window, and the toilet enclosed in a water closet. The old steam shower was re-plumbed and re-girded with glass panels. The back porch includes tempered glass to keep the family dogs from tearing through screens a large storage bench, a fireplace with cedar mantle and brick surround, and pendants and modern ceiling fan to give light and air to this dreamy space. Nestled in the curve of the Black Warrior River, this location gives its owners their own secluded paradise, but the home was in dire need of upgrades due to years of neglect. Warm tones of stained sapele wood paired with absolute black stone highlight the new front exterior. Stucco and wall-to-wall -wall glass surround the perimeter of the home. To make the 18-foot tall, 1,100-square-foot addition feel as if it were original to the existing structure. The front entryway was reconstructed into an elegant opening with an accent art wall serving as the focal point. This created an inviting transition area seamlessly merging the old with the new. The dining room features an accent wall composed of tropical island stone and surrounded by white oak tambour cabinetry. The 70s style kitchen was expanded, and now includes a bronze coated range hood, quartz countertops, and a seamless hidden pantry. The renovated modern design throughout the home is characterized by clean lines, bold shapes, and a minimal color palette that is complemented by the natural beauty of the river. Unique features abound, such as in the guest room, which has two large openings on either side of its entrance to provide an infinity view effect from either side of the main living area. To provide privacy when the guest room is in use, two handcrafted mahogany doors, weighing over 400 pounds each, were installed on a concealed roller system. Outside, the clients wanted to cover the new rear patio and outdoor kitchen, so a cantilever roof system with 45-foot clear spans was installed to provide protection from the elements without obscuring the sensational riverbend and mountain views. This lakeside lot deserved a house suitable for the view. The original home had water damage to the exterior, low ceilings, and a kitchen with no lake view. After gutting the home, the roof was raised and the ceilings in the living room and main floor bedrooms were vaulted. Antique French doors were installed to bring in more natural light. The kitchen was opened up to the living space and positioned to take full advantage of the lake views. A large center island painted blue beautifully coordinates with the wood and white cabinets and white tile backsplash. In suites were added to the bedrooms, and a bunk room was created to accommodate plenty of guests. Reclaimed beams from an old farm in Kentucky were used with an iron and cable design in the living room's vault space and down the stairway to the basement. Shiplap was installed in four bathrooms, the main floors and stairwells, and old Chicago brick laid on the floors throughout for easy cleaning. An all-brick special dog cubby was constructed for feeding. The outdoor space was totally renovated. The old crumbling walkways were replaced, as were all the windows, siding, fencing, pathways, seawall, porches and railings. The addition of a fire pit and all new landscaping complete this remarkable makeover. Before moving into their newly purchased home, these homeowners wanted to update it to meet their needs and design aesthetics. The main level and exterior were the primary focus for this renovation. The exterior was refreshed with new landscaping and iron railings added to the front porch. Inside, 
a new layout was designed to eliminate wasted space. The kitchen opening was moved and enlarged, creating space for the inclusion of a large island with seating. One of the openings to the old sunroom was closed up so that kitchen cabinets could be added to the wall. The small fireplace was removed and the windows on either side changed out for shorter windows above the new quartzite counter. A sink and ice maker were added to the existing bar area. The sunroom was turned into a keeping room just off the kitchen, with new Pella doors and a charcoal limestone floor. In the living room, the old cabinets on either side of the fireplace were replaced with arched openings for displaying furniture and art. The fireplace was changed to a limestone surround with millwork above. Instead of traditional logs, it now features cannonballs. Built-in cabinets were added to the study, with a space between to feature a family heirloom roll top desk and Victorian sofa. The powder room was refreshed by removing the bold, red wallpaper and changing out the vanity, plumbing and fixtures. In the owner's bath, the recessed garden tub was replaced with a cast iron freestanding tub, with tile detailed wainscot behind it that ties into the shower and floor. The vanities were updated with slate blue paint, veined quartzite countertops and millwork. Outside, the old deck was removed, and a large screened-in sitting area was added with a rock fireplace and dining area. The lower level of the deck has a grilling area with Naturecast waterproof cabinet and granite tops for the green egg and gas grill, completing this home that has become a great gathering place for family and friends to enjoy. Over 49 years of marriage, these homeowners had enjoyed cocktails on their deck nearly every night, and now they were ready to finally make a dream come true with the construction of a covered outdoor living area. Three sets of French doors were installed, leading from the living room to the new covered porch. A vaulted ceiling was installed and painted a soft blue. A grouping of comfortable sofas and chairs provides an ideal seating area, with fans overhead to keep cool and a large brick fireplace for when nights turn chilly. In the spacious dining area, shades were installed to help keep the sun at bay. From the new set of stairs off the porch, a stone path leads to the new putting green, which was high on the homeowner's wish list. Thanks to the addition of lights, he can practice his putting day or night. With their new outdoor space in place, the homeowners say they look forward to entertaining on their porch for years to come. For a family who loves the outdoors, their outdoor space was cramped, narrow, and not useful. To create a space that they could use year-round, an expansive outdoor retreat was designed where they could gather while spending time in the backyard or around the pool. The existing patio was extended and blended with a large random pattern concrete paver floor to make it look like it had always been part of the house. The entire area was wrapped in full brick arches to match the other architectural elements of the house. A Magnum Firock fireplace was built and has become the focal point of the space. A large outdoor kitchen was constructed, with a fire magic grill, griddle, fridge and trash can pullout for a full professional barbecue grill experience. To ensure that smoke would not be an issue while grilling, a commercial grade hood with an external blower was installed. Soapstone countertops and backsplash soften the feel and add some warmth to the space. Two Infratech heaters were installed so that the outdoor space could be used on even the coldest of nights. The end result is an outdoor living room that is beautiful and timeless. To give this lake home an outdoor living space worthy of its beautiful waterfront views, the old deck was removed and replaced with a cypress timber-framed open-concept deck. To fit the project's timelines and dimensions, cypress was sourced from all over the south to create the structural members of the deck. The roof decking is number one southern yellow pine tongue and groove that is strong enough to show off the open cypress mortise and tendon truss design below. The decks were covered with thermary heart pine, which was treated with heat instead of chemicals to prevent rot and insects. The lower decking structure was wrapped with pressure-treated pine purlins for a completed look. 
The perimeter of the deck is surrounded by a steel cable and post handrail capped with another piece of thermary decking. The deck was painted to match the rest of the house, which also got a fresh coat of paint, new roof and new siding to blend in with the new garage addition. This outdoor space was carefully designed to take advantage of the water views and to show off the finished project no matter which angle you're approaching from the lake. Tragedy struck when a log rolled out of a fireplace and started a fire that destroyed the home that the owner and her late husband had built together. The former two-story home was redesigned as a single-story home, giving the homeowner the ability to stay in her home longer as she ages. It was important to the homeowner that the chimney be saved, so it was relined, repaired, and had new gas lines run to bring it back to its former glory. The double fireplace surround was customized to match the kitchen cabinets and bring a cohesive look. The homeowner had loved her old kitchen and wanted to recreate the same design. Cream-colored Timberlake cabinets with a hazelnut glaze were installed and topped with custom quartz countertops. A peninsula was created with ample seating and plenty of storage space. In the owner's bathroom is the soaker tub that she always wanted. In the hall bath, a zero-entry shower with frameless shower door and grab bars for safety was installed. Gothic-style windows were installed throughout the home to add the owner's own flair. One of the home's most special features is the front door, which had been a gift to the homeowner from her late husband and had been used in their last three homes. The door was successfully salvaged and repaired and continues to provide entry to the home that this couple shared together. This kitchen was nearly a total loss when a water leak occurred while the homeowner was on vacation. To turn what had been a small, sad kitchen into a beautiful and functional open space, the wall between the kitchen and living area was removed. The tray ceiling in the breakfast nook was closed and a small wall added for a coffee bar. Twin pantries flank the windows, and a counter-depth Genere refrigerator was placed opposite a thin brick accent wall, with floating shelves above the espresso machine area. The countertops are sea pearl quartzite, and they run up the wall on backsplash all the way to the ceiling. A 36-inch Genere Rise gas range with commercial-grade griddle replaced the small, tired electric range. A custom zinc hood was designed with a band of brass that brings together the gold cabinet poles and faucet. The new Oak Island was finished in a warm gray stain, and a Kohler Whitehaven farmhouse cast iron sink was installed in it. New pendant lights of milk glass and iron, a semi-flush gold and black sunburst light, under cabinet lighting, and new recessed wafer lights provide the adjustable zone lighting that every kitchen should have. This home suffered fire, smoke and water damage after a space heater caused a fire. With the house completely gutted, the homeowner took advantage of the opportunity to rebuild with the open concept that she had always wanted. North Point cabinets were installed in the kitchen along with laminate Wilson Art countertops. An island was added to provide more workspace and storage. North Point cabinets and laminate were also installed in the new bathrooms. New LVP flooring with a wood grain finish was installed in the kitchen and bathrooms to give a cohesive look. Carpet was installed in the bedrooms, living room, and in the finished basement. New windows were installed throughout the whole house, helping to make it more energy efficient, and the built-in garage was mitigated and repaired. New lighting fixtures throughout, including pendant lights above the kitchen island and the chandelier in the dining area, complete the design. The previous business in this building had been in operation for nearly 50 years, but there was significant damage after several years of vacancy. The goals for this project were to restore the structure, maintain the historic character, and create a location for two businesses to thrive. Both commercial spaces received white oak flooring to replicate the look of the original hardwood floors and new Pella Lifestyle series clad windows for more energy efficiency. 
The original brick walls in both storefronts were left as exposed as possible. The first storefront became a bakery, and a commercial kitchen was designed with flake epoxy floors and fiberglass reinforced plastic panels on the walls for easy cleanup. Custom cabinetry with open shelving was installed for storage and to display retail stock. The wall behind the point of sale was finished with shiplap, and more custom cabinetry was installed. The second storefront became a coffee shop with a U-shape of custom cabinets to accommodate the point of sale, display retail, house equipment, and store supplies. Custom tile was installed behind the counter. On the exterior, the original sign and awning were removed, and the brick was given a fresh coat of paint in two different colors so patrons would appreciate the two distinct businesses. The iron posts surrounding the entryways were sandblasted and repainted. Limestone slabs from Alabama stone was used on the coffee shop storefront, and new Pella Reserve Series aluminum-clad doors were installed to complete the transformation. Originally, this location was used as an open gym workout space. The 2,000-square-foot space was renovated to create an interior design showroom with a small retail space and office space for the company's construction and real estate teams. The walls were painted white to provide a neutral backdrop for displaying art and other decor. The owners decided to keep the ductwork exposed, painting it white as well to blend in with the rest of the space. White floor-to-ceiling curtains help further brighten the space while creating separation among various parts of the showroom, where furniture is easily arranged in different vignettes to help customers visualize how it would look in their own homes. Salvage doors lead to a beautifully organized workspace where designers can sit with clients to create the interiors of their dreams. This mid-century modern building located in a downtown historic district was purchased as a way to help those who have been broken through addictions, abuse, and other issues, and the merchandise sold here directly benefits the people they serve. The existing old storefront glass was replaced with an energy-efficient insulated high-wind impact glass and bronze structural members. A local woodworking company produced new Red Grandis 9-foot entry doors with a large transom above. Inside, the existing cabinet bar unit was cut down, reconfigured, and reskinned with stained birch plywood. Pendants were hung to help identify the checkout and free coffee display. The old garage door area, which once served as a stage, now invites visitors to relax in the new reading area. The existing kitchen was turned into an efficient commercial-grade kitchenette with a stainless steel sink, microwave, and plenty of open shelf storage. The two smaller restrooms were combined to create one large handicap-accessible unisex restroom. With all new electrical, plumbing and HVAC systems installed, the roof repaired, and other structural issues addressed, the mercantile is now better able to serve its community. These homeowners made the decision to tear down their old house and rebuild a place that they could truly call home. The front exterior includes a large porch as a perfect gathering spot. Located just inside the entry, the kitchen features stainless appliances and a peninsula with bar seating. Cabinets extending to the ceiling offer an abundance of storage space. The adjacent living room leads to the screened porch, which provides a great view of the park. The downstairs houses three bedrooms, including the primary suite with a glamour bath featuring a large walk-in shower and a soaker tub. A second story was added to accommodate the owner's favorite spot in the house, a new office with windows overlooking the nearby baseball field. Spray foam insulation and a tankless water heater make the home more energy efficient and comfortable.
These homeowners found a subdivision just minutes from downtown and were ready to build a low-maintenance home that would be spacious enough for a comfortable retirement and welcoming visits from grandchildren. The home opens directly into the dining room, which has great views of the woods and offers plenty of space for entertaining. Wide hardwood floors lead into the living room, which features built-in storage. The adjacent kitchen provides casual seating and more than enough storage and prep space. Glass front cabinets are lit to properly show off collectibles. A blue glass tile backsplash adds a punch of color to the bright white cabinets and walls. The hardwood continues into the bedrooms, which have high ceilings and plenty of natural light. Soft shades of blue brighten the guest bath, which features a large walk-in shower. In the owner's bath, soft green walls contrast beautifully with white cabinetry and floor tile. An extra-large walk-in shower and soaker tub offer opportunities for relaxation. Grandad has his own, happy place, in the form of a music, man cave, where he can crank up the volume and relax to his favorite tunes. At the rear of the home is an expansive porch with a retractable screen and swing beds for lounging. With a refreshing pool for taking a dip on warm Alabama days, this space provides the perfect little oasis. This home was designed for lake living from the start. The steep and rocky terrain made it difficult to fit a six-bedroom home on the property, but finishing out the basement and adding a third floor made it possible. The home features porches constructed in a timber frame style that provide plenty of room to entertain or to relax and take in views of the lake. The posts are 10 by 10 pressure treated southern yellow pine, with rough sawn rafters and beams for an added rustic look. A cart path to the fire pit was carefully carved out of the hillside hugging the rock bluffs. Custom designed stairs were built from the fire pit area down to the boat dock. Inside, the 29-foot ceilings in the living room provide tons of natural light to show off the 1800s reclaimed wood mantle, fireplace stonework, and custom bookcases. The living room is open to the kitchen, which features a custom vent hood and custom wood countertop on the island. Yellow pine 1x6 flooring and shiplap walls add to the farmhouse feel. The primary bath includes a clawfoot tub, vintage-style tile, and dual vanities topped with wood and vessel sinks. Windsor low-E windows, spray foam insulation, a variable speed-zoned carrier HVAC system, and gas tankless hot water heater make this a high-energy efficiency home. This home was designed to create a cohesive, polished aesthetic without compromising comfort and warmth. The exterior showcases dynamic roof lines and dramatic wing walls, with rough cut cedar beams, exposed rafter tails, and copper accents adding subtle rustic touches. The front porch, port co share, and vaulted rear patio all include tongue and groove ceilings. The extended depth garage easily accommodates two full-size SUVs with room to spare. Inside, white oak floors and hand-selected tiles run throughout. The gourmet kitchen features a 9-foot seamless island, stainless steel appliances, a wall-mounted pot filler, and cast-iron single basin sink, among other features. Specialty glass tiles form a backdrop for the 48-inch freestanding Bertazzoni gas range and range hood. The adjacent living room is highlighted by a soaring cathedral ceiling and dual-fuel fireplace flanked by built-in quartz-topped cabinetry. The primary suite boasts 11-foot ceilings and multi-layer crown molding. The bath includes radiant heated floors, a mounted towel warmer, a huge undermount soaking tub, and a zero-entry shower. Innovative pull-down rods and built-in drawers allow for maximum utilization in the owner's closet. The home's upper level includes multiple guest suites, a second full-size laundry room, central loft, and bonus room. This 4,100-square-foot home has exceeded expectations for the homeowners, who were looking to elevate their everyday living experience.
These homeowners had big dreams of a custom home they could live in long term and raise their four children. They arrived at an old English, French countryside style featuring a mix of old and new. Tennessee mountain stone and custom stained locally sourced pine siding was chosen for the exterior, with cedar shakes and flagstone porches to create a warm and inviting look. The front door is an arched, reclaimed 19th century French door tucked within a barrel vault ceiling. In the entry, a modern chandelier balances the classic mountain white oak flooring and antique doors. Flagstone, used on the hallway and laundry room flooring, makes the home feel like it's been around for years. The living room is highlighted by a rock fireplace with a cast stone fireplace surround. The kitchen has an old English feel, with all panel-ready appliances, an antique table island, a rock fireplace, and a custom wooden hood vent. Windows above the sink allow for a view onto the beautiful farm and add light and warmth to the kitchen. The use of reclaimed doors and antique furniture throughout the home, from the dining room to the bedrooms, adds to the old world charm. Italian marble countertops and decorative tiles provide touches of color. The primary bath is another example of old meeting new, as the antique vanities, doors and chandelier are offset by the modern soaker tub. By creatively blending these styles together, this project proves that new construction does not have to be boring. Built in a French provincial style, this two-story home includes seven bedrooms and eight and a half baths in over 12,000 square feet. The exterior is bricked with General Shale Sandy Shore limestone brick, and the front porch features limestone stonework with Eris cast stone window casings. A large motor court with stamped and stained concrete in a cobblestone pattern leads to the seven-car garage. The interior boasts 10-foot ceilings throughout, with a coffered ceiling with tongue and groove pine inlay in the foyer, as well as a coffered ceiling in the dining room. The family room features a 21-foot vaulted ceiling with western cedar beams. Another tongue and groove pine coffered ceiling appears in the kitchen, which is outfitted with GE monogram appliances and delta fixtures. A large pantry with plenty of shelving and brick flooring makes food storage a breeze. Among the home's many additional features are three kitchenettes, three laundry rooms, a theater and billiard room, a kid's gaming room that doubles as a safe room, and a sitting area loft overlooking the family room. The primary suite includes a 16-foot vaulted ceiling and limestone fireplace. The primary bath features large 24 by 48 tile with Schluter Ditra heated floors, a freestanding tub, and spacious zero threshold shower with two entrances and a four shower head spraying system. A luxurious walk-in closet makes it easy to keep clothes and accessories neatly organized. Cameron Harbor Natural Stone from Acme Brick comprises the base of the columns lining the two connected back porches, and is the same stone used on the outdoor kitchen and fireplace. Wrought iron fencing surrounding the property features the fleur de lis, heralding back to the home's French provincial design roots. This lakeside home features expansive views from almost every room. The 22-foot ceilings in the living area allow for loads of natural light through the Windsor windows, showing off the natural stacked stone fireplace, cedar box beams and white oak flooring. The living area flows into the kitchen and dining area, which have their own spectacular water views. The kitchen features panel-ready appliances, white cabinets, a white brick backsplash, and a large island with plenty of room for food prep and seating. Just off the kitchen is a screened porch in a timber frame design with yellow pine roof decking and open rafters. The cable railings integrated into the screens allow for open, unobstructed views of the lake. The owner's suite features a walk-in closet with custom shelving and a spacious bath with walk-in shower and soaker tub. The basement has its own living room and kitchen with custom white oak countertops and floating shelves, as well as custom-made hanging beds. Metal underpinning on the basement porch ceiling creates a dry space for enjoying the outdoors even on rainy days. 
The steep backyard was tamed by installing retaining walls and stairs made from natural stone boulders to help create a cart path leading down to the boat dock and fun on the water.